Morning, Martin. Isn't it one of the most beautiful days you've ever seen? Ah, this has got to be just one of the favorite axes I've ever built, hey? I'm just going to send this off to Bucken, but let's just quickly weigh it and see how I did. Oh, no. That's not right. Oh, it's a bound to light. So it's true. I unfortunately did not have quite enough material in that last billet. Well, actually, the billet had a lot of weight in it, but I lost a lot. This is that R&D time that we're putting into this thing, right? Figuring it all out. So I'm going to start another time. This time we're going to have a lot more material in this billet. If you're just tuning in and you're like, what is going on, Tim? First of all, thank you for being here. Welcome here. Don't even worry about go watching those other videos because we're going to do it all again in this video. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, seriously. But uh, thanks to everybody who has placed a pre-order for a Blackhawk hatchet or Hudson Bay that are coming available at the end of this month. Thank you so much. I still have a couple spots open. So if you're thinking about it, go ahead and jump on that. And uh, let's jump straight into it. Here we go. This is a honking big piece of 4140 here. It's an offcut for the power hammer die I made. I'm going to use that to make this next wood bullet from. Got the billet made up here. Gonna let it cool off. We got lots of meat everywhere, so this is great. Let it cool off, we'll trim it up, and then we can get onto this thing. Some of you have requested a 28 inch handle on the Hudson Bay axes. So what we just have done is we've made our template up for the newer handle. So this is the Hudson Bay 24 inch handle, October 19, 2020, the time we made that first one. And now this is the 28 inch handle here. The, these are just the templates, right? September 6th. We always date our stuff so we know when things have changed and know which ones are more current and whatnot. Anyways, what I'm thinking is, to all of you who have pre-ordered a Hudson Bay Axe, I said on the website it's 24, but I'm thinking about making them all a 28 inch handle. If you guys are all okay with that, let's roll with that. Because we're also gonna be tweaking the head design a little bit, which I'm really excited to show you. It might be a little bit, it's gonna be a little bit heavier. So I think the longer handle, a little bit heavier head, I think it's all gonna work really great. But I know some of you have pre-ordered on the pictures on the website. So stay tuned to see what the new head looks like. It'll be adjusted a little bit. I wanna make sure you're good with that. That piece is cooling off. Let's jump back to it.
see how much bigger this one is. The flare on the top, most of that's gonna get cut out, but like everything is looking super, super good on this one. And uh, really maintain that thickness through the back here. Inch and a half, it's all rough. We'll clean it up. Not worried about anything here. Pretty stoked, pretty stoked on that. So this is turning out good. I'm really optimistic we can get this bad boy finished up. Oh, finally. So we're gonna announce the winners from the last two videos. So for Thursday, I asked the question, how many pounds of concrete did I pour for the foundation on the Beche power hammer? So the winner is, drum roll please, Dylan Vaughn. Congratulations, man. Uh, I'll try to ping your comment in the comments below, but if you are seeing this, send me an email, okay? So for Friday's giveaway, this was the hardest one of the whole entire week. And I, I know a lot of you were throwing random answers out there because you had no idea what was going on. But what was going on is when we built the world's biggest chain mail, we did the stop motion of the assembly. It was super, super intense, moving all the parts around and hot, but we wanted to add a little extra spice because that's what we like to do. So we had these rivets that were moving through the time lapse. So if you rewatch it now, you'll probably see that. So the question was how many were in the original posse going after the one? And the answer is 10. And that is gonna go to James McGuire. Thank you for guessing that correctly. To everybody else who entered, came along and played, thank you so much. I'll look forward to doing something like that in the future. And for now, that's gonna be it for me. So thanks for watching as always. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.